Round 10 he begins of what has been another pitched battle. And that will go down in the annals of boxing. In the rich boxing history here at the right, Stump Up Center, Maria Ranello along with Al Bernstein. Let him go. Let him go. Daniel Jacobs, Brian Kenny, Jim Gray, and the rest of our crew as Matisse again follows behind that jab. What adjustments does Molina have to make to try to avoid this onslaught, Daniel? He needs to use his reach. He needs to circle the ring. I understand he, he doesn't want to take a step back. He wants to fight his fight. But as an experienced fighter, he needs to circle and adjust. Well, the other thing he needs to do is use the jab to try to set up the right hand. He hasn't been using that jab to do it. Right hand over the top by Matisse. Left hook. And it's really all Matisse here in round 10 as one minute is gone as Molina misses with a wild right. Nice shot to the body by Matisse. And Molina's calling him right on, said, bring it on. Whatever you got, I can take it. Let's go. A minute and a half remaining in the tenth. Oh, John hey. Molina's nickname is the Gladiator. Both are proving to be that here tonight. I don't think anyone thought Molina could stand up to this kind of onslaught. To and you wonder how much said. more he can take yeah. it. He's really polarizing him at the moment. Lucas Matisse is coming on strong. Man, he is taking all kinds of punishment. And yes, you can ask Mickey Bay and Hank Lundy, each undefeated at the time they faced Molina, as the great Yankee whipper once said, Yogi Berra, it ain't over till it's over with John Molina in the fight. Now here in round 10, he would send Molina down with a, a volley of punches, combination punching, every variety of punch you can imagine from Lucas Matisse. It all started with an overhand right, but the ever-present jab there as well. And Matisse throwing combination punching, ripping to both the body and the head. The left hook, which was a major weapon for him, was mixed into that. And as I said, the variety of punches, they're very impressive. And he would send Molina down. That was in round 10.